Hey, what's going on, sports bettors? Matt Modak here with Odds Jam, and just gonna bring you my favorite N uh, N NBA, excuse me, NBA player props for tonight. So we only have four NBA games, so not a huge slate. So only going to have three picks for you guys tonight when I normally have four. Don't want to force one for the sake of just having four picks. I have been on a little bit of a cold streak from these picks. I will wonder. How much of that is just trying to get four a day as opposed to just choosing ones I like? So for today, going to have less plays, hopefully more success, but we will see. Regardless, I will say is that the NBA season has gone just incredibly for me. Since the NBA season started, I've had three weeks where I'm up a lot. Last week, I was down a decent amount. That was my first bad week. That was honestly mostly NFL as opposed to NBA. But regardless, it's been phenomenal since the NBA season started. My total basketball profit is up over 16K, which means that I'm actually down across the board on other sports. That's mostly baseball, some tennis as well. But regardless, the NBA has been incredible for me. So part of that are these player props that I just have like, I think two or three day cold streak, but still in the green overall, still having a ton of, ton of success with the NBA. But regardless, let's get into it. So the first play then I'm going to go ahead and lock in here. The odds keep changing on me, but it's still positive EV. Is Tyrese Maxey under 33.5 points, rebounds, assists, minus 106 at FanDuel. I'm just going to put a half unit on this one. 50 bucks on this Tyrese Maxey play. So, of course, let me add it to my bet tracker real quick. But let's chat about this one. So, minus 106 on FanDuel is, are the odds that we locked in. The Nova gods that you see here price this at about minus 109, exactly at minus 109 and a half. And these Nova odds you can view as the true line of what a sport, of what a uh, excuse me, what a market should truly be priced at, right? The true line of a market. The secret about sports betting is not all sports books are um, created equal in terms of pricing odds. Like we see odds range all the way from minus 106 to minus 141. If the odds are have that big of a gap, one of them has to be incorrect, right? It doesn't make sense for there to be a literal a literal 35 cent difference between two sports books. So what Ajium does is just um, track all of the sharp sports books and remove the big from all of those. So that's why the Nova gods are viewed as the true line. Anywhere in which you can beat the Nova gods is going to be positive expected value, which is exactly what we have on this Tyrese Maxi play, minus 106. So that is kind of the math behind it. Of course, every play that shows up on this page is going to be positive EV. You just kind of want to do a little bit more digging to make sure that you're placing the best of the best. Generally, if it's positive EV, it will be, but sometimes it's a formula. It is technology after all. Sometimes something might fall through the cracks. So the additional stuff that you can do on your end to make sure that you are getting the best of the best is a couple things. Number one, if you just click into a play like I have here, it pulls up where every sports book is pricing odds. For this play and what we can see is almost it looks like every single book that prices this play has the under as the more likely scenario DraftKings minus 125 the over at minus 105 bet online minus 118 versus minus 110 pinnacle is the by far the most the biggest favorite here minus 141 versus plus 107 all of these books the only one that doesn't is points bet we just has it at 50-50 each way. Think that the under is the more likely scenario. FanDuel is the only one that doesn't have it priced like that. Um, so that's kind of what you want to look at when you click open a play. If you view this event page in a new tab, what it does is not only can you see like where every sportsbook prices this individual play, but you can also find examples where they might have it priced differently. So in this case, we see Pinnacle gives pricing for 34 and a half. But the other sportsbook that has pricing for it, and their main line for this is a point lower at 32 and a half. So not a huge example here, but sometimes you can find examples where sportsbooks just have things priced. The numbers themselves are different. You see this a lot with its totals and spreads because the numbers are so high. So it's just important to get a holistic view of the betting market and what all sportsbooks price it at. I will admit for handicapping purposes, this one makes me a little nervous because Tyrese Maxey has been absolutely balling. But what I will say, one game, the most recent game he played, he didn't hit this number. He landed, I think, on 22. And that was the first game Embiid returned from his illness. So generally, 
if with Embiid playing, Maxi obviously doesn't run as much as the offense as he had. Like the past couple games, Maxi had been running the offense completely by himself. No Harden, no Embiid. All the Maxi show. Now with Embiid back, Embiid's going to get some run. So I understand why this one, why the under is being favored on this one, or why the under is the positive EV play, I should say. So this is going to be my first one. Let me just refresh this, make sure I'm getting the most up-to-date odds. The next one that I was going to lock in here is this Terry Rogier over three and a half made threes. That's obviously a lot of made threes, um, but we're paying for it at the plus 142 odds. Pretty juicy odds there. The Novig odds price this at about plus 138, essentially, if you want to round up to plus 138. So the gap at plus 142 is your positive EV. But just look across the board. The closest book that prices this is bet, is bet online at plus 126, 16 cents lower. Every other book we see plus 125, plus 120, plus 121. All of them have it priced 25, 20 to 25 cents lower than what FanDuel is giving us at plus 142. Again, an example of a pretty clear outlier line that we want to take advantage of. So I'm going to go ahead and lock this one in. Terry Rogier over three and a half made threes. Going to put a little bit less than half a unit on this one. So that way, if both the either one of the Tyrese Maxi or this one hits, we will be profitable. Uh, but this is my second play. Terry Rogier over three and a half made threes. Just have to hope that he keeps jacking them up. Um, and then the last one that I wanted to lock in here, let me just give this another refresh, um, is the Tyrese Maxi under three and a half rebounds. So this is minus 113 at Bet Rivers. And then across the board, same logic here. Look where all the other books price it. Minus 135, minus 120, minus 145, minus 135. The closest again, looks like it's minus 120 and then it's minus 128 with Pinnacle at minus 136. All of these sports books having that as a significantly more likely scenario than what Bet Rivers slash Barstool slash Twin Spires slash Unibet is giving us. So this is going to be my third and final uh, betting player prop for today. Let me just go ahead and add this one to my bet tracker as well. Let me give this one last refresh. Make sure no more odds or no more good plays that I like have been added. Nope, everything is the same as it was. So that's going to be it for my three NBA player props for today. If you're tailing these bets, comment on the video. If you have been, I apologize for the rough stretch. But I will say, make sure to follow me on Twitter. I had a great day with my NBA system plays yesterday on Twitter at Jedi Modi. Um, again, at Jedi Modi. I posted five NBA totals slash spreads. I went four and one on those. Have more today. Going to be a good day, hopefully. But regardless, um, please remember to like the video. Subscribe to the IGM YouTube channel if, you're, if you've been liking these videos. That helps me out a ton. But that's it. So we're, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the NBA tonight and have a good one.